Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and this is going to be your daily tarot reading guys, April 24th, 2018. <clears throat> so with that being said, this is going to be a four card spread for the day and the first card it is showing up the day itself, this is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. I will put it just like here, okay. So the second card shows up what we should constrain from doing during that particular day. We have the Knight of uh, Cups here. Then it is uh, what we should do in order to capitalize on the day. This is going to be the Seven of Swords. And the last one shows up the results of, uh, in the long run, in case these couple of uh, conditions here are kept. So what will be beneficial for us. Alright, so the day itself obviously is going to be very potent and as well lucrative because the nine of uh, of pentacles, one of the key words for that card is success into business. It is also wealth, you know, but this card also reflects to a, a, a very good experience we will have, especially in case we are about to strike a deal in that particular case, in that particular day, either in a court or in our professional field. It could be also a card pointing up the you're going to be called on an interview as well you know so it's a very good card guys for searching for a job or exerting a, a well-found um, <clears throat> abilities based on certain uh, experience you do have until now showing yourself very very capable you know to uh, become a, a valuable asset into your company but this card doesn't just go uh, thus far you know it goes even beyond that this card <clears throat> in personal aspect it does represent fullness of uh, one interactions in between people and I'm not talking about just in between you and your partner in relationship in case you do have uh, a relationship but I'm talking overall communication in between people like uh, <clears throat> It is likely that you may establish a very good friendship during that day, guys. It is likely that you will be very well understood from the people around you, etc., etc. In general, this is a, a very positive card for one reaching up for uh, fullness in either one emotional or either one material life. But what, then we do go to the next card, which is what we should keep ourselves from doing. And this is a fantasizing about the situation. So, right? we have to be rather more sober about how the situations are developing because the <clears throat> the Knights of Cup has that prone affinity here to to fantasize and to actually goes beyond the aspect of the uh, of the possible here okay and they uh, usually kind of very often end up very disappointed by um, <clears throat> thinking the more that actually is into one situation and I'm not talking about that you are going to end up depraved in any case but it will be much beneficial for you actually to think about what you have on your plate and what you can work with instead of what you could have and what you could work with all right <clears throat> because everything will come with time here and as we can see at the end we do have the judgment card which speaks that, that, that your time is going to come our time is going to come it will be in a different um, <clears throat> time frame from now for every single one of us but definitely that day will give us a, a foundation upon creating something with extreme value for ourselves and when we go to the judgment card, I will talk a little bit, uh, a little bit more about that. But then we are going to the um, <clears throat> to the seven of swords, which is the things you need to do in order to maximize the um, the benefits from the day. And this is keeping our mouth shut. Do not town people or do not expose your benefits to people that simply does not need to to know that. All right. So don't. Um, <clears throat> how can I place it in words? don't share with those who are jealous you know just so you can boost your self-confidence because people hatred is a, a very powerful force and also it is very it is very beneficial will be for you guys to really make a preparations or mm, kind of like diminish chances for you to be deceived in a sense that let's say that you are about to sign a contract for your new job well it will be a beneficial for you to read among the rows you know the, the small letters over there with uh, a, a star 
on top of them that nobody out nobody really reads but exactly in there in these kind of small letters and small sentences it is where the devil is hidden so uh, you have to be extremely careful when you are approaching a proposition because there could be some hidden strings in it and you have to be vigilant about those kind of hidden strings and if you execute all right you know you don't fantasize about your relationship or about your career and you are very pragmatical you know you you, you do you utilize <clears throat> only what you have on your plate and only what you can work with instead of uh, you know relying on something that could or it could not come to your uh, to your um, <clears throat> to your disposal all right <clears throat> then we go to judgment which is how this is going to benefit you in the long run so judgment is about changing of thinking especially talking about career here so you're gonna get a, a new perspective about your career in a sense that that could be a repositioning guys like a, a, a new place you're gonna find yourself like a promotion all right or it, it could be as well that you're gonna change job based <clears throat> on this performance here all right uh, which is going to be even better than the one from that particular day or you're going to execute a, a very good project uh, moving on forward from the uh, to the future which is even a greater responsibility than the one that you are pushing on at, the, uh, at this very moment but because you are well prepared and you foresee the obstacles here as i said you know make a preparations not to be deceived which is the same thing then you have been granted even a greater responsibility that comes with a, a much greater benefits for you you know <clears throat> So this card points that uh, based on that day, if you execute everything right, something is going to change for the better into your career. Of course, this is going to be different for every single one of us. It could be something big or it could be something milder. Uh, we do, we are involved into different situations. <clears throat> and it, I cannot say that this is going to be a, a huge change for every single one of us, but definitely is going to be a, a change for the better. And uh, relationship wise, I would like to say that this card also represents a very positive outlook here for a, a long distance you know if you are able to capitalize on this harmony that is happening over here by not fantasizing about it or in other words you don't take it for granted but instead you protect it from deception and from uh, <clears throat> infiltration you know from uh, jealous people envy people and as well from people who wants to see you separated either with your boyfriend or with your girlfriend you know or basically you don't allow rumors to be spread in between you and your person of interest then a, a very positive thing happens you got your relationship this could be a, a, as well your marriage guys this could be a, a very big improvement into your relationship as well and in some levels in a very high level since only those who are uh, very well aware that they want to spend their life with the person next to them this card points that the results of all that is going to be pregnancy or a birth of a child so um, with that being said guys this was your daily reading for april 24 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video rat signing out now see you next time bye